Hi everyone, I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. As always, I just like to reiterate, especially for people that are new to my channel, I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so never try to force a reading to fit, only take it if it resonates. If it's your reading, you should intuitively know it, it'll make sense to you. Um, yeah, so let's see, let's see what the cards want to say for this specific energy group. I really appreciate your comments, likes, shares, subscribes. I love hearing from you guys. I love reading your stories as well. So I really appreciate all the support on my channel. Thank you guys. So let's get right into it. So what's the message for someone that's watching, that's intuitively guided to this? I feel like there's someone new here. I mean, I'm, like, obviously there's always new people here. But, like, I'm feeling someone who's, like, never heard of my channel, never watched my channel being guided here to this like I'm channeling someone that I don't the main person in this energy group I guess I should say is someone that I don't usually channel um I hope that makes sense anyway let's look into it the world the page of swords the six of cups can you guys see that okay cool <laughs> the high priestess Hmm. Bear with me, guys. This feels like a... This almost feels like your childhood sweetheart, like your, your high school love, or your, you knew this person when you were young, or you knew this person at a more innocent time in your life. Like, there's something very... I'm getting like a bittersweet, very pure, very innocent kind of nostalgic vibe from this. And it's strange because the high priestess is so powerful, so I don't know. It's, it's like this other energy here. There's I'm not getting a bad vibe from this. I feel like this was like the one that got away, like high school sweetheart type energy here. Let's see. Maybe you went to prom with this person? This is like for someone specific. I don't know because I'm getting like high school. And again, there's multiple people in this energy group, so it's it's not like not every single detail is gonna resonate, like, but most of it, if it's your energy group, like over 90% of it should resonate and make sense to you, you know? But I still get like random little details for specific people that are watching. So I hope that makes sense. I'm just oh my god, what is this? Cause I'm like right on the verge, like I'm channeling, I'm seeing something like at high school or something that happened at like a club or like an event. It's like prom or some kind of dance. For, this is just for like one person that's watching. There's a specific message. Um, I think the high priestess... So this is a very specific storyline I'm getting for someone. I think... Okay, this is the one that got away type energy. But you guys, I feel like this was a like a missed opportunity because whatever... Whatever you think happened or whatever they think happened, it didn't actually happen. There was there was drama. There was gossip. There was some kind of out. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's just one person. I don't think it's just one jealous third party. I think there was multiple people. Take it as it resonates. There was either multiple people in this community, in this, this I, I keep getting high school, like high school prom, or it could be like a bar or a club, like maybe like a weekly event. It's like there's there's some kind of community here, some kind of like, you know, kind of clicky community. And it was more than one person that either didn't like you or didn't like them. And so they spread rumors. I'm not even getting like jealous third party vibes like, oh, this is like an ex that wanted to split you up. It doesn't. I mean, there could have been someone that wanted to date you or someone that wanted to date them. But overall, I feel like there was multiple people involved in this drama, multiple people that either didn't like you or didn't like them, you know. But I think the rumor wasn't true. The rumor wasn't true. And, and it's this... It's this like the one that got away situation like scenario because someone listened to that rumor. Someone believed that rumor and now they're regretting it.
I just keep, I keep seeing prom. I keep seeing like high school, like a high school dance or something. So that could, this could be someone that you haven't even thought about in years, but like they never, you were like their first love and you guys thought that you were going to marry each other. And then you kind of went your separate ways. And now it's like they're, they're wishing that they had another chance, even if it's been a long time. It's like this, it's, it's like, I keep hearing like the one that got away. Um, because it didn't end naturally. Like you guys were actually completely compatible, but whoever, whether it was you or them at the time, someone was very impressionable. They were very young, very naive. And so it was easy for these, these third parties to get in their head and influence them to turn away from you and to leave you behind. There was some kind of rumors, some kind of gossip here um, I'm seeing a blonde man, like a, a blonde, not, that's not for everyone, but it's like a very kind of like a, not, I don't know if it's like a country boy, but he's got like a very wholesome kind of pure vibe. I'm getting like almost like Ed Sheeran, I think his name is kind of vibes. Um, bear with me guys as I look into this. Yeah, whatever the rumor was, it wasn't true. There might have just been these, like, people in high school or at this, you know, take it as it resonates if it's not high school. Um, at this this event, this party, this social gathering, this community, coworkers, whatever kind of, you know, community in, that you're in where you know you have these people that are kind of jealous of you. They think that you're you're more attractive than them or they maybe just misunderstand you. Maybe you have a lot of power and people fear what they can't understand. And so it's like they try to drag you down and control them and control you. Um, maybe they, maybe it's like you're shy or you're introverted or you keep to yourself. And these people think that you just think you're too good to hang around them because these people are more shallow, materialistic. Um, they're not, they don't have a lot of emotional depth. They're not very interesting. And so I think you're, you're wise, you're intuitive, you're a very interesting person. You might keep to yourself more. And I feel like these people took it the wrong way. Like, oh, he or she thinks, you know, they're all that. Like they think they're too good to hang out with us, or they think they're better than everyone at this school or in this community. Like who do they think they are? You know, it's like, there's this weird kind of, um, like they misunderstood you. They misunderstood you. They, they thought that you were arrogant. And I don't think that you were. I think that you were just introverted. Or I think maybe you just didn't resonate with them. Like you genuinely just didn't want to hang out with them, but you didn't hate them. Like these are the kind of people that if they, if someone just doesn't resonate with them, like if someone just doesn't want to be their friend, they're too insecure to allow that. They can't just be like, okay, we're not compatible as friends. Instead, they'll try to tear you down and, you know, oh, something must be wrong with her. Something must be, you know, she just thinks she's better than everybody else. It's, it's you know, they're not mature enough to just accept incompatibilities in, in their friendships. But, but yeah, I see a whole community here. Wherever this was, high school or not, I see a whole community of people here that, that misunderstood you, targeted you, um, and were jealous. And I think that they went to the person that you were dating at the time. And, and, and feel free to reverse the roles. So it could be the other way around. It could be the other way around where there were people that were um, that didn't like your person. And they were jealous of them. So they came to you and told you rumors. And those rumors weren't actually true. And you intuitively knew it. But you were very young and impressionable at the time. So feel free to reverse the roles. But just to make it easier, I'm just going to say, you know, you instead. But anyway, they... Um, yeah, I feel like this little click, it's like this little posse that I feel here. I think these people are friends with each other. They like to they like to gossip. They like drama. Their lives are very boring and so they kind of have to create drama as like a source of entertainment for themselves, um a distraction for their own insecurities and their own traumas. And yeah, I feel like they came to their to your person. And I think that there was some kind of rumor. They're like, oh, everyone knows. Like, I think this person maybe wanted to ask you out or you guys were already dating and then they broke up with you and you never understood why they broke up with you. Maybe these people said like, oh, it's a secret. You can't tell her. We told you this. Promise not to tell. 
And this person was, again, very young, very naive, very, um, I get, I get like a farm boy kind of energy. I'm getting like Ed Sheeran. I'm getting like, I see Wesley from The Princess Bride, like a very sweet, wholesome, pure farm boy, very good man, but very naive, very, uh, like he, he just, he shouldn't have listened to these people, he, he male or female, either way, um, and I think he's someone that also, at least at the time, because like I said, this could have happened years ago, like you could be in your 30s or 40s. And this is like your high school sweetheart that is maybe having like a midlife crisis now. And they're thinking about, you know, the past or thinking about high school and they're maybe wanting to find you on social media and they don't know how to find you because maybe it's been years since you guys have talked to each other. Um, I'm hearing Derek. I'm hearing, uh, I don't usually get names either, but I heard the name Derek. Anthony. Um, I don't know any of anyone name with those names. I'm trying to think. It's so strange. I'm just getting random. That's, and it doesn't have to be one of those names, but I just, for some reason, I just got those names. Anyway. Uh, and if this is resonating with you, please subscribe as well and hit the bell notification so you get, you know, notified when I do readings. Again, not every energy group will be yours. I do channel various energy groups on here, but I really recommend subscribing if this is your storyline because I, like I said, I do these readings pretty frequently. But um, anyway, back to it. Yeah, I, I just feel like this person was so young and naive and... They, they, they're, they're very honest or they, they were at least the, at least when this happened, even if it was years and years ago, this is the energy I'm getting that they were in when this, all this drama, this gossip took place. So they might've changed over the years, who knows how they are now, but, but I'm, I'm getting a, a past energy with them. And I feel like back then it's like they were the type of person to really just be completely honest and genuine and down to earth. And so they assumed everyone else was that way. And so they never really considered that maybe these these men or these these women, this group of this community, this group that came together to to spread rumors about you, they never considered that maybe they were lying, maybe they're jealous. You know, they they really believed these people because they came to them and they're like, oh, you can't don't tell her we told you this. Don't you know, we're just trying to look out for you. Like this person really used to see the best in everybody. So they thought it was genuine. They're like, oh, like this, this, this group, they really just have my back. They're trying to protect me from this high priestess. They're trying to protect me from getting heartbroken. You know, um, maybe it's like a situation, like maybe in high school, you had a lot of like on and off again, boyfriends, or you had like short relationships, but you were actually the one that was getting broken up with. And I feel like these, these people like twisted it somehow. So they might've said something along the lines of, um, you know, she just uses these guys, she just sleeps with them or whatever, and then discards them and breaks up with them. Or you're just like her new toy, or you're just, you know, she, something that made him feel like he was going to get his heart broken with you or something that made him feel like you wouldn't if you guys weren't already dating it was something that discouraged him from pursuing you like something that made him think like you were either into some really dark stuff or made him feel like you were um like you wouldn't be interested in him like you would just use him or hurt him or like you have a certain pattern with men um, they're just some kind of some kind of rumor basically that they spread about you some kind of gossip and if you guys were already dating it's like I really think they saw you as like long-term potential like long-term like you guys really you know saw a life together and I feel like these people just got in their head and just made them rethink everything and made them panic and um they ended up sabotaging it. And I think you never had closure either because you're like, wait a minute, like we were happy. Like this was like, you know, like my first love, like we, we never, like I thought we had a future together and then they just kind of changed up on me. Um, and I never understood why. And it could even be too that, that maybe something you actually did do, they told this person about, you know, maybe you actually did cheat or do something and, and this person found out. So take it as it resonates. But I feel like this this high school sweetheart wants another chance because they're looking, they're more mature now. They're more, they're still a good person, but they're more 
logical now. They're more balanced now. And so they're looking back and they're like, whether it was years and years ago or whether it was last month, whatever, whenever this took place, it's going to be different for everybody. But they're looking back on this drama, this gossip, and they're like, oh, wait a minute. Like, why, why didn't I think twice about that? Like, why didn't I... I'm hearing someone's a lawyer now. Someone's a lawyer or someone's in like studying law or criminal justice or something like legal. Like they're 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 studying something right now or they they are maybe they already did study it and that's what they're doing now with their life. I don't know. Let me look more into this. Tell me more about this. Yeah, it's like they want to build with you, even if it's been a really long time. Again, maybe this person can't find you on social media. They might be trying to look you up because they're nostalgic. They're thinking about the past. It's this very bittersweet energy, but it's like maybe it's been so long that it's like they have no idea how to find you. One of them might have even like married the wrong person and gotten divorced and like kind of looked back and regretted it. Like I shouldn't have gone down that path, you know? Such a specific story. It's interesting. Three of Pentacles, Death, Eight of Swords, The Magician. Some of them could have even done black magic to like tie your person up and create this illusion because it's like they wanted to build something with you the feelings were mutual if this isn't someone you're already with i just feel like it was someone that wanted to pursue you and you wanted them to pursue you and then they were discouraged from pursuing you by people that were you know jealous or whatnot could be an earth sign too so i feel like they did black magic on this king of pentacles for some, not for all of you, but it's like for some, they, it's like this person wanted to transform things with you. They wanted a solid foundation with you. Um, and then they ended up blocking it and making this person feel like a victim or making the this person feel like this, this couldn't happen with you. Like they felt like they were led to believe that you were a player or that there was, that you just wouldn't be trustworthy basically. this hold on bear with me guys <laughs> well it feels like maybe they were like led to believe that there is multiple men that you were talking to at the same time and you weren't for others, I feel like maybe it's like they're standing their ground and they're going back to being the king of cups. It's like a tower moment and they're wanting to come in and communicate with you. It's like, I don't know why, especially if it's been years, I don't know why it took them so long to have that epiphany. But maybe they could even be someone from high school that like casually, maybe they didn't know how serious you were about each other. And like this person from high school maybe is like friends with them still and just casually admitted like, oh, yeah, I lied to you about that girl back in high school thinking it was just like a shallow crush and this person's like oh my god seriously like I you know I that was like my first love tell me more about this it's a very specific storyline hmm. <clears throat> I feel like they can't find you. 
Or if they can find you, it's like they're worried that too much time has passed and that you wouldn't forgive them for not believing, not taking their side. It's like, I feel like, because I'm looking at this this face, it's like looking, it's almost like, because I, I, I always channel and I always see it differently, but it's almost like I'm looking at this face where it's like, this is you when this person's like walking away and you're like confused. You're like, what the hell? Like, I thought we both wanted to marry each other. I thought like their the interest was mutual. I thought you were going to ask me out soon. Um, and this person just like went the other direction out of nowhere. And I feel like you just did not have closure. You were always so confused by it like so just like left in the dark you know like at a stalemate you're like why like what happened I thought we liked each other I thought we loved each other like what like you never got the answers that you needed I feel like you were just left confused yeah because you thought it was like a new start in love you thought you had something here and then it's like this person just walked away and this is the reason they walked away this this rumor this gossip this this lie that these people told about you that they believed I almost wonder if someone like confessed on their deathbed like they possibly hmm like this person like this high school bully was like maybe trying to like make amends with people and like hey like sorry I, I know it's been years but I lied about your high school sweetheart to you something like that hmm okay let's wrap it up what else what else here Yeah, because it's like you guys were so happy and so compatible and so in love. And then it's like just like this ending temperance. Three of wands. Hmm. I feel like you were so confused and you tried to balance it out and like wait for this person to come back because you're like, what the hell? It's like there might have been some like miscommunication between the two of you as well. It's like you didn't. This person actually really loves you. Why did why did this person not? That's what that's the part that baffles me. Um I'd love to hear from you guys too because I'm like thinking about it. I'm like why didn't this person talk to you? Why didn't this person just say like, "Hey, you know, this this group of people said you're a player." They, well, I guess I mean I guess it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't bother asking you because if they actually really think that you're a player or that you're a cheater, or whatever, like if they actually believed it, I guess maybe they assumed that if they asked you that you would just like, you know, like a player is just going to deny it and pretend like they're not, or they're going to, like they, like they didn't trust you anymore after this. Can you, can you tell me more about why they didn't, because it really feels like they didn't have a conversation with you. Like, I feel like up until now you've been in the dark. Like, I don't think you knew about any of this. I don't get the sense that you knew about you might have known that these people didn't like you, but I don't think you knew about the rumors. Like, I think you just felt like like your person just suddenly switched up on you. And maybe your person even acted like you're the one that broke their heart and like you were just confused and you wanted closure and you never got the closure. So why, why didn't this person just talk to you? Four of Wands, Page of Cups. And again, if this was a crush, it's like, I think these people just said like, oh, she would never, you're not her type. She would never go for you. She's talking to someone else or she wouldn't like you like that. Some, something, something like they, they knew that you guys liked each other. So they, they, they wanted to discourage it. Why didn't this person just talk to you? Because they didn't want to get, let me see. Hold on. Sorry. They didn't want to get breadcrumbed. I think they were worried you would just lie about it. Whatever they they really believed this group of people. So I think that like if it was like cheating or whatever, they felt like if they confronted you, like you would just lie and they would get sucked back into it and they would just it's it's almost like that you guys were so happy and so compatible and so in love that it it's it's like I don't know, because I don't feel like this person was super damaged. Like they seem pretty innocent and pretty open, so but it's it's almost like maybe it made sense to them. Like, okay, like, I don't, oh, what is this? Hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, sorry. Yeah, I feel like maybe someone asked them to keep it a secret, too. Maybe it was, like, even a family member or friend of yours, and, like, maybe they came to this person, and they're like, you know, my sister would never, my sister or my cousin or my best friend would never forgive me if she knew that I um, told you that she's cheating on you or that she did this. So please don't, don't, like, promise me, like, if I tell you this secret, like, you're not going to, go back to her and, and tell her what I told you. It could be that kind of energy where it was like, you know, it's going to like, I want I'm trying to have your back. I'm trying to be honest with you. Like, please don't tell her that I, that I, that I'm telling you this, just, just walk away from her. Trust me, you're just going to get hurt. And so this person listened and this person didn't want to ruin your, this, this person didn't realize that this person was a, was a liar, a snake. So this person just was like, well, I don't want to ruin her relationship with her sister, her best friend or whoever this was. So, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slowly, quietly walk away, sneak away. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they're making a judgment call now because they're like, damn, I was freaking stupid. Like, I was so stupid for not recognizing what I had there. They have a new perspective. They had this epiphany. Or like I said, possibly this person just finally came clean to them, even if it's been years. So so anyway, um, if this is for you, I mean, I think this person does want to get in touch with you. Like I said, for some, they don't know how to find you because it's been so long. But um, anyway, I'm going to put this out. I hope this resonates. And thank you guys for the support, for subscribing and liking the video and commenting if it resonates.